hi guys we are here again sorry i kept you guys waiting but now we are here and we are not going anywhere again so let's see how we move from this look yes she's beautiful she's perfect the way she is but change is very important so to this look so let's dive into it so first of all we went in to hydrate her skin with my setting mist from blossom and then went in with vitamin c serum also from blossom cosmetics just to add some sort of hydration to her skin We'll put it under her eyes very important to avoid it from drying out then we went in with our moisturizer from miss Metic, um moisturizer it's just the best moisturizer for me for all skin type so we blend that into her skin we blend into her skin until the skin absorbs all the moisture the skin needs to be properly moisturized before you apply any other thing skin so you see me going over it with my skin prep brush and i'm blending blending not leaving under her eyes her eyes under her eyes are very important so it has to be properly moisturized yeah normally jemima is goofy so expect that from her <laughs> so we went in now with the Haggai and esther primer this primer is for all my oily babes like this primer is going to keep makeup in place all day long so you see me applying to her on her eyebrows because those places are prone to getting oily on her forehead as well then i'm also going to apply some on her t-zones and i didn't apply any under her eye so we went in with the foundation so guys this foundation is literally lighter than i expected this foundation is from Zikel and it's very light for her. Oh. We, get, we get coconut head and we need to hear what, so <laughs> we, we had to just do something. I mean, she was looking casket ready, but who cares? We're going to work on it. So just watch how we blend, just keep blending and blending and blending. So, like I always say, blending is key, so just keep blending blend 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 so we went in with this concealer this concealer was from Avoir cosmetics and it was really good so we went in with it highlighting under her eyes her forehead the bridge of her nose and on her jaw then i didn't i didn't i didn't um show the second concealer i actually forgot so the second concealer i added to brighten it up a bit more was juvia's concealer and after that, I left it to dry a bit before blending out. So, when you the trick behind it is when you let it dry a bit, it sits on the skin and it became, becomes a bit tacky and then it gives more coverage. So you see, we are done with the concealer and I went in with my my contour. So we blend the contour into her her cheekbones. She really doesn't have any cheekbones protruding because she already has a chubby face. So I just have to to trace it myself. Then I went in with blush. Like I told you in the last video about Jemima, she likes a lot of blush. See how she's so happy. So we went in with the blush and we blushed her cheek. So we blush, 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 blush. And then I'm always going to go in with my beauty blender and blend even more. So I used that setting powder from Blood Cosmetics and then I use, I use it to um, to highlight the under eye to control the oil first. I'm just going to use it as a base as a base um, setting powder first to highlight the under eye to set the under eye and all over her face. Then I went in to contour her nose. I actually forgot to contour the nose at first, but then I remembered it last minute and then we contour it so we're just going to contour the nose to make sure it's giving pointed nose to make sure it's giving um nose job to make sure it's giving 
um what do we what do we even see again <laughs> whatever so i went in now with my aspen setting powder to highlight to highlight the under eye even more so this is going to add some sort of brightness under the eye so you see how and immediately you put this powder it gives this kind of skin finish kind of filter like kind of look so we've already drawn the brows off camera and now we went in to conceal the brows still with our Zikel, our Zikel cosmetic palette and we are concealing the brows you see me gently lifting up the brows above her brow bone with my concealer you see the difference between the two so let's watch how we do this other brows So you see me going over it over and over and over again. This is going to help me to see that the brows are put in place and it's in the right definition and it has a straight line. The key to a good brow is if the brow lines are straight. You don't want anything rickety. So you have to go over it over and over again to make sure the brow lines are straight and smooth so um yeah we went over the on top of the brows it there was no use because it was already clean but i mean just what's more definition right so we just went over it again then i used the beauty blender i used to apply the powder all over her the setting powder to blend in the concealer so now I use this um, brush from Colorbox to set the the concealer I used on the brow bone. I set it with the setting powder. So all of this is coming together now, and I keep setting and setting and setting. Then I went in with my Betcham Ageless eyeshadow primer i'm sorry i don't know why i didn't show this products that i was using but it just escaped me i'm so sorry next time when i'm doing another video i will make sure i put in those i put in everything that i used you will see them on the screen so but for now let's just take note of what i'm saying so best i'm ageless primer for the primer and then i blended it out so you can see now i've started with so now we got the transition shade and this transition shade i used every all the eyeshadow i used i think was from root cosmetics i had this palette that was given to me by my makeup artist friend and i'm still using it up to you now so it's from root i don't think it's that popular but yeah i don't know so it's from root cosmetics and it was just blending in nicely so this shade i'm using is just a transition shade it's kind of an orangey brown transition shade kind of so i'm just going to go over it and blend and blend until it comes so until it um, comes to how i want it to so today we are doing a brown smoky eye and i am going in with the brown shade that i want for the day so we're just going to pop up that brown still from my root cosmetic palette and yeah just do that and we just keep blending in until we have the that we want to work with so we just keep blending and blending and blending. we'll keep adding the shade of the brown that we want right and then when we are done with that we start blending so this is this is me blending in the transition shade with the brown shade that we used that we want to use for the day so i'm just going to keep blending so we blend 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 i'm just marrying the transition shade with the main brown shade that we are using for the day so i went in with the black shade and this black shade was from v cosmetic and it was really black 
at the time i was scared i was not going to have control over it but i mean god being faithful my god doesn't wear flip flop my god doesn't flop so therefore i can flop <laughs> so um yeah we're blending the black and you see how smooth it's coming out to be so we're just going to blend the, the both the transition color the black and the brown that we're using for the day making it to look like um there's no demarcation and that is how you want your eyeshadow to be it doesn't have to look like we've used three different colors to to do this eye look it has to look seamless it has to look smooth it has to look like like an actual transition like there should be no gap there should be no line there should be no um how do i put it but you know what i'm talking about here yeah? so yeah let's just always blend try to blend all the time blend until it is seamless so you see how it's coming out to be we are going in for a brown smoky today and it has to be smoky enough so i just keep on blending blending and blending until i get what i want for the eyes so i'll still go in with the brown with the brown shade that i used earlier just to make sure that i'm getting the smokiness i want so i went in with my um my my pencil from the shader beauty as always i mean the best pencil liner here in ghana so i'll just go over the eyes again until it is dark enough you want a smoky eye so you have to go over and over and over again with whatever color you are using so i'm just lining up the waterline now and i took it up to um to her upper eyelid just directly under the lash line just directly under the lash line it just gives this um, effect of a real smoky eye it makes it to look more smoky so so we're just going to go over it over and over again because you just want your eyes to come out looking popping now you don't want it to look basic so i did that and after that i put in the mascara and we are going to pop on the lash after now and jemima is being goofy again but she's cute though <laughs> so we popped on the lash and yeah we just went in with the lips and this lip um lipstick i'm using is from um becham ageless the brown lipstick I have in them in their in their collection so that's what I used to line the lip and mind you this look is going to be a very matte look we're not putting any gloss on anywhere so we are just going to we're just going to line the lip with the Besham Ageless lip stain and yeah Jemima comes in with her dance her dance moves again <laughs> Yeah, but she's cute though. She's really cute and I'm really liking how this look is coming out to be. So went in again. I think the new lipstick I used in the middle was from Maybelline. And when it dried a little bit, I went in and then I blended and blended and blended. Making sure the two lipstick that are on her lips we are blended in together without seeing any demarcations we don't want demarcations so now i went in blended out her face with my brush from from shaded beauty yeah so we keep blending out all the excess powder that we have to set in all the oil so we don't need them anymore so we are blending them out they have to go so we just keep blending 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 until we're just going to blend until um, her face looks perfect the way it should then i thought since we are smoking now the eye so that means i should um smoke the under eye at least with a dark brown eyeshadow and that is what i did so it gives it that smoky effect like boom i am here for the smoky eyes <laughs> So that is what we want and you see how her eyes are already looking smoky like you don't nobody needs to tell you that this is a smoky eye 
your smoky eye don't have to be black or true before you, you, you think it's smoky. I mean, we can you can always do your thing. And today we are achieving a brown smoky look. So I went with my root cosmetics again, just out at the corner of the eyes there. I'm just going to highlight it a little bit, just to reduce the tension from the eyes. It gives this kind of brightness from the corner of the eyes. So that's what you want. Then we went in to set her face final time and to take out all those powder effects from the face. So the face don't look, keep looking dry and powdery. So this is what the setting spray does. And you see how the skin is looking good and yummy. Then I went in to put uh, mascara under the lash. It's very important because sometimes we have foundation on our lash and we don't even bother to blend it to take it out. So mascara helps to hide that, that foundation. And you see she's trying to tear up. So I told her to sniff in. So that is a hack. Once your client is trying to tear up, tell them to sniff in and yeah, once they sniff in and out, sniff in and out, it's, the tears is gone. So we are going to highlight her skin using that blue some cosmetic um, highlighter to highlight the bridge of the nose and the tip of her nose. You see, like I did, like so. So that is where the lights will be hitting. So bridge of the nose, the tip of the nose and then I also highlighted her cheekbones she doesn't have cheekbones but i mean we just have to we just have to create one and i'm also highlighting her brow bone too and you see how the glow is coming out like it her skin was really glowing like i don't think even the video did justice to the glow that we that we saw <laughs> on this look so her skin was really really glowing and yeah now we've come to the end of this look tell me what you think about this jemima is the cutest girl i've ever seen so i will leave you with her and i want you to enjoy her please like comment subscribe to my channel and click the notification button bye